everybody, Brian Boyle here, and welcome to episode 131 of The Mesh Tongue. It's Thursday, and uh, have a good day. So hopefully you are as well. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Utah, and uh, I think spring is finally here for us, even though we've got plenty of snow still up in the mountains. It uh, finally feels like spring, and not just to the, uh, the dead heat of summer, but... Uh, Hope all are well, and uh, hey, if you've got questions, you've got comments, hit me up, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at company5k.com, that's the number, 5k.com, and uh, I'll be happy to get back to you. Now, we always talk something about running. Uh, I really like the mental aspect, though, about running. Um, I've always been kind of fascinated with it. Some parts of me feel like I'm pretty strong mentally, I'm tenacious. Other parts feel like I'm pretty weak. If there's something that uh, uh, that I want, I will sometimes have that impulsiveness to go after it. And uh, even if it's not exactly the best for me or it's not going to help me meet my goals. But that's something that I'm always working on and uh, my job is to help you help yourself. So I wanted to talk to you today about a, uh, another book. We've talked about uh, books uh, recently. Um, I love reading. Hopefully hopefully you do as well. And if you don't, uh, hopefully you will find a, uh, some value in some of the information that I can certainly share with you. And uh, you know, turn you on to some of these books and who knows, maybe you too will become a, uh, a lover of books. But this one comes from um, uh, Rolf Mejner. Mejner. Sorry, Rolf. If I have uh, butchered your last name, you can butcher mine. How about that? Uh, Brian uh, is my new name. But uh, uh, it's the Mindset Reset Process. And it's just a short read. But uh, in this book, I, what I really liked about this one is uh, Rolf really goes into changing the mind mapping and how you can change things through, uh, through thinking, but really putting things down on paper. And, and, and there's a lot of this that goes on out there. You'll see a lot of self-help gurus and things. But I like this because it's simple. Uh, you know, he likes to ask the question, what is success for you? What would a successful lifestyle look like? Or what is a successful running career look like? Um, what would you consider success in running for you? Okay, so the more detailed you are in answering these questions, the better you will know where to focus your energy and the sooner you will actually embark on the road to success. Pretty simple, but yet we sometimes forget these things. Do you want to be a marathoner? Do you want to be a half marathon? Do you want to be a 5K runner, 10K runner, just in good health? Again, this is gonna help you decide when you're making choices, what does success look like for you? What's the end goal? And then work backwards. The dichotomous balance, okay, uh, comes when you define failure then. What does failure look like to you? Uh, is it lack of time? Is it not meeting your goal? Uh, is it uh, not having balance with uh, with your family and friends and social? Uh, you know, is that is that failure? Is it um, you know not putting in extra time at the office? What does that look like to you? So then again, you know if you're going to go after success, you can then steer clear of failure. Pretty simple, but again, the clearer you can answer these questions, the higher your chance of success will be. So quite oftentimes we always think, oh, I'll define my end goal and I'm gonna be successful. And if we don't meet that goal, you know, you're always told, well, at least you got half of the way there. So if you shoot for the stars and you reach the moon, that's cool. Except if your mission was funded to go to the stars and you only hit the moon, you're like, well, that's great, but you didn't accomplish the mission, so guess what? Next year, you're not gonna have this money. So you gotta know what failure looks like as well. So if failure was clearly defined as only reaching the moon, well then, this was considered a failure. Now, again, can you pull some bright spots out of those things? Absolutely, all right? And I'm, I'm pretty much the optimist in the group always. I will always try and find the good within the bad, um, but, Clearly define your success. What does that look like running wise? Then clearly define your failure. Somewhere in the middle there is a you know a common ground. All right, as you start working backwards from failure, start working backwards from success. Okay, and then you can say, all right, as long as I'm steering clear of this side of the aisle, looking at failure, and I'm pushing towards this, you're going to be much more successful, even if it's not now maybe later, okay, but again, those small steps. So, 
That's it. Defining success and failure, and uh, you know, making it as clear as possible. It doesn't get any easier than that. This is episode 131, The Mesh Tongue. Brian Boyle here. Check out runpainless.com. As always, please don't go hurting yourself to come back, but but come on back tomorrow. And if you find some value in this, share this with your friends, your family, your training partners. And uh, until then, I will see you again. Take care. Have a great night.